Niamika. And I'm Tiff. And we've been asked to put together a speech for um, our graduation because we're graduating on the same day, same yes. time. And I'm just. I'm How excited. Do you feel about it? I am nervous, I am anxious, but I am the most excited because my parents are flying in for this. <gasps> oh, so they're so going to be sat there and they're going to. I'm, I'm probably going to weep. Like, I know I'm going to weep. I was hoping you were going to be the stronger one because <laughs> I'm, I'm a wreck. But yeah, it's going to be so nice. Yes. Especially because, like, we've done so much stuff for the uni in terms of like videos and content. Yeah. And it's like kind of like. It's a nice wraps round it up. Off. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nerve wracking as well because you just want to make sure you say the right things, you you know you mention the right people, yeah. not that no one's the wrong people, but, but yeah. that's what's hard because you need to like pick out of a list of a hundred yeah. who've been through this with you. It's so weird because I feel like, because in my head, I'm I'm still nowhere near graduating because obviously we've still got like work and yeah. time and stuff, and it's gonna be kind of we'll do that speech and when we're walking back off the stage, that's when it's gonna hit me. Yeah. I think. Because that's like the last thing. I'm just not even like dealing with it right now. I'm just going, yeah. like, we're not, like, nothing's happening. It's just a ceremony that I'm going to cover for social media. <laughs> that's just the way I'm thinking of it at this point. I'm just like, it's just yeah. a graduation ceremony I'm covering. I mean, like, the first graduation I did coverage for, I cried watching them do their yeah, hat task. So, how am I going to get to Because I've never seen a graduation before, anyway. Yeah, so, like, the first time I sat down, I was just tearing up watching them all graduate. Because I was like, oh my god, that would be insane. So, I'm just kind of going to be, like, documenting our journey, like, writing the speech, drafts, whatever. Yeah. Um, see where it goes and, like, show you some of the behind the scenes <laughs> stuff. And, yeah, let's We're go excited. for it. <laughs> Okay, we've just finished. After all, <laughs> uh, did a read through um, all of it. Yeah. yeah, it's just a little bit over, but that's fine. We're gonna work on it. Yeah. There's too many people to thank. Yeah, <laughs> few more, t few, few more tweaks to do before we like send it in to get it like checked over. Yeah. Um, well, we've got until next week. Yeah. How do you feel? I'm really excited. Now that I've read it, I feel also I feel more settled. I feel like I'm probably not gonna cry because I do a couple of reads of it. Yeah. So it's not as like. So it's oh not gonna God. be as crazy. Yeah, on the day. Yeah. Well, like, do you feel emotional? Yeah. Yeah, but like you say, I feel like the more I go over it, yeah. when I get there, not I'm not saying it's not gonna mean as much. <laughs> but it's gonna mean it's nothing. It's just gonna be programmed, so it's just yeah. gonna be worse. Yeah, I think so. Um but yeah, it's gonna be crazy. I'm nervous because now we actually need to start working on our pace of saying things. Yeah. And making sure like the words make sense. And because I'm a fast talker. But like I have with me the issue is because English isn't the first language. Yeah. I keep messing up words because because you're thinking not in English. <laughs> yeah. So so it's like it's a matter of making sure I say things right. You'll be grand. Oh, You'll smash you. it. So You'll smash you. it. <laughs> I, I, I love that we're doing it together. Yeah. Because doing that by myself, I would. I would. I would, I would freak out. I would. I don't think I could have done it alone. But I think doing it together is way more meaningful as well. Because yeah. we're really wrapping up the journey. Yeah. yeah. Makes it more community felt. Yeah. And all that. Yeah. Different perspectives as well, which yeah. is cool. What are some of the things you're talking about? In your... uh, so being an international student, culture shock's a really big one. Um, like my family, lectures. I want it to be a bit more personal than yeah. being skill based. So I'm trying to highlight more of like personal takeaways in the speech. I'm similar, so very personal. I talk a lot about the challenges, which I feel like they might be like. Yeah, but that's, but that's, that's true. So normal. And if I didn't include that, I would be lying. Yeah. Because so much has happened the past three years yeah. that. And they have all made me yeah. a bigger person. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, just some like shout outs like friends, family, boyfriend and relationships just all the important stuff yeah. I guess yeah. that I feel like lots of people will relate to yeah yeah definitely yeah so exciting <laughs> can't wait and yeah. yeah fingers crossed it passes the vibe check we've just done a timed run through it's it's good it's good uh, it's, it's good. really good we're just nervous because we're about to send it off now and like we're actually going to get an opinion on it which we haven't so far yeah um, we think it's really good and really sweet but who knows <laughs> But someone's probably just gonna look at it and go, oh yeah, no, you can't say any of that. Imagine. Like, oh, just redrafting the whole thing. But yeah, fingers crossed. Here goes nothing. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> As you've just seen, we sent our speech off to be checked and verified. We have heard back from the people and it has all been approved. They went through, read the speech, made a couple of tweaks here and there just to make sure it flows nicely. They're happy, me and Nunaka are happy. And so our speech has been finalised. And as exciting as it all is, it is still very nerve wracking because graduation is coming up fast. It feels like it's just around the corner. So nerves are starting to hit a little bit, but of course it does not outweigh the excitement and honour that me and Nunaka both feel um, to have been able to do this. So we want to say a massive thank you to Stafford University for giving us the opportunity to do this at our graduation. It's just the perfect and nicest way to round up our student journeys. And now it's all written and finalised, there's nothing really to do other than get up on that stage and deliver the speech. So wish us luck and here's to the class of 2024.